Please welcome the Honorable Judge Richard H. Dinkins, Tennessee Court of Appeals Judge, who will deliver the oath of office to Nashville Mayor Megan Berry. Before we start, before we start, I have to uh, confess, I've known this uh, family for years. I used to coach Max in basketball and baseball. They weren't very good. Never, <laughs> never could teach him the hook shot that his dad wanted him to have. <clears throat> but it is a joy and an honor to be here and administer this oath. Uh, Megan, the people have spoken and have spoken wisely. You have prepared for this oath and this office for many years and have had a lot of support from the gentlemen here with you. I know that you do not t t take this oath lightly lightly, and I look forward to being a citizen of Nashville under the Berry administration. Thank you. Now, if you will raise your hand and repeat after me, I, Megan Berry, I, Megan Berry, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the constitutions of the state of Tennessee, that I will support the constitution of the state of Tennessee, and of the United States of America, and of the United States of America, and that I will faithfully, impartially, and with fidelity, that I will faithfully, impartially, and with fidelity, Discharge of the duties of the Metropolitan County Mayor. Discharge the duties of the Metropolitan, Metropolitan County Mayor. <laughs> Without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. And for the public welfare. For the public welfare. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, <laughs> Mayor Bo And gentlemen, on this historic day in our city, let us welcome to the podium the seventh mayor of the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County, Nashville Mayor Megan Berry. Here I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Unlike David Briley, my speech is a little longer, so please have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> we are here today to celebrate the peaceful and amicable transfer of power from Mayor Carl Dean, just as he did with Mayor Bill Purcell, to the next administration, which I am honored to lead. Thank you. Today we also shatter a glass ceiling and the historic moment is not lost on me and I hope it's not lost on you. As I look at the row of women in this room who are trailblazers, I know it's not lost on them. I stand on the shoulders of every single one of them and today I have just been sworn in as the seventh mayor of the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County, and it's pretty incredible. Thank you. 
also shattered another glass ceiling, one that matters to the 40 members who are sitting behind me today, as I am the first council member to ever be sworn in as mayor. And I have a pretty good idea of what I've gotten myself into. With my former council colleagues, many of them who are here today, we've been in the trenches the last eight years. We've celebrated a lot of successes, and we've also fallen short. But it's been worth it, because we took chances. We did things that weren't always popular at the time, like betting on the future of Nashville's tourism industry and building the convention center in which we are in today. And let me tell you, my first choice today was to have this at Public Square. And it better be raining outside right now, is it? <laughs> But there is something poetic about having to relocate to the Music City Center, because if it wasn't for that investment five years ago, we might not have a place to go. So see, I was already thinking ahead. <laughs> when you get to serve, it's truly a wonderful thing. People reach out to you and they tell you things. Just the other day, I received an email from a gentleman named Richard who lives in Sparta, Tennessee. He told me he was going to take his daughter out of school and he was going to bring her here today so she could see what was possible. I don't know if Richard and his daughter are here, um, but I know that there are other parents and their children who I see today. I see Charles Robert and I see his daughter Margaret. I see Howard Gentry and his daughter Taylor. I see my brother-in-law Matt and my niece Lily. And for them, having a woman mayor isn't going to be unusual. In fact, it's not going to matter at all. They're going to get to focus on something completely different, on who I am and the legacy that I leave. I am keenly aware I did not get here alone. Winning this election was the result of the hard work, the input, the dedications of the thousands of people who are in Nashville and the thousands of you who are in this room today. I've been told that there are close to 4,000 people in this room. Is that possible? I'll take it. I'm not going to govern alone either. I look to Vice Mayor David Briley and the Metro Council members who are behind me. They are my strong allies for our future progress. I'm going to rely on them in the coming months and years as we work together for a common agenda for the city of Nashville. I believe our community stands at the starting line of a new day. A day where we build on the success of the past, and the past is very important. Thank you for the past. We are now here to create our bright future for all of our citizens. And I want to hear from you, Nashville, on how we can support and improve our public schools. I want our city to be a place where parents see our metro public schools as the best option for their child, regardless of the zip code they live in. And in order to do that, we have to not stifle debate, but we do have to start working together and find what works and ensure we do more of it and have high quality education for every child. I want to hear from you, Nashville, on how we can make our neighborhoods more affordable for all families, from the poor and the homeless to our young millennials to our working families and our seniors and for everyone who loves our community. I want to hear from you, Nashville, on how we can improve our transit and our transportation system so that you can get out of your car altogether if that's what you want, or spend less time in your car if that's what you want, and do more things that you love, like not sitting in traffic. I want to hear from you, Nashville, how we can grow our economy in a way that every part of our community prospers. That means hiring and training local workers. It means supporting the entrepreneurial spirit that makes Nashville so unique, from artists to innovators to small business owners. It means supporting the industries that have put Nashville on the map, our entertainment and music industry. It was built first on country music, but just like we heard today from Jason Isbell and Amanda Shires, it has expanded way beyond that. 
to our health care industry that seeks to heal the sick and employs thousands, to our colleges and our universities who educate our future engineers, our lawyers, our doctors, our dentists, our civic and business leaders, and our clergy. I want to hear from you, Nashville, on how we keep our city safe and we seek justice for victims of crime, but we also ensure our justice system is fair, it's balanced, it's compassionate, and it's just. Nashville, in an era where national politics is one about divisiveness and distrust and a little crazy, I want you to have confidence that your local leaders are here for you, to listen to you, to engage you in the governing process. Many of you, like me, came to Nashville from a different place. You bring with you your ideas, your culture, your language, your food, your music, and it enriches all of us. Many of us work in different industries and fields, public, private, not-for-profit, and the diversity options that are, keep us growing are expanding our city while other cities are retreating and shrinking. Many of you have different beliefs and ways of viewing the world, but that can bring us new ideas and new approaches how we, how we approach old problems. And as mayor of Nashville, I have the great pleasure to serve all of you, all of you, for the city that we love, our beloved city, together. While we are different as individuals, together we make Nashville. We make Nashville a vibrant city that is the envy of the nation. We make Nashville. Each and every one of you in this room, we are Nashville, and I cannot do this alone. So thank you, thank you again for your support. Thank you for making this historic day happen. Now. Let's get to work.